stretches. Good morning day. Here we are. A big stretch. Open your feet and just stretch. You know, you're still here. How lovely is that? And another big stretch. Now, this is for the morning. So in the morning, we're a bit stiff. So we need to just feel that. Now, can you, oh, a little there and lift. And oh, a little there and lift. Good. Again. And lift because you've got to warm that back up. Stretch open the arms. Feel. Press down. Plie. Again, bring the feet in. You've just woken up. So we go. Open the feet. Stretch. Bring it in. Open the feet. Stretch. Bring it in. Wiggle your bum. Stretch. And stretch. And stretch. And stretch. And then away. And lift and away, and lift, and away, and lift, good work, and lift, open, there's the day, bring it in, just a nice open chin on chest, roll it down, heavy head, heavy shoulders, now if the back's pulling, make fist, rub your spine in the base there, warm it, and then hang, move the neck and shoulders, tummy strong pelvic floor, lift that skull weight. Feel that line of direction, long neck, stretch. And chin on chest, you roll down again. Always open the spine. Anybody with a you know, dodgy back, you need to do these twice a day, three times a day, as often as you can. Breath. One more time, all the way down. Heavy head, heavy shoulders. And then lift the head and just stretch your leg back and put your hands on the floor. So you just go in a nice deep lunge. And then keeping the head where it is, tummy strong, lift the foot back. And then take the other leg back, take it back, stretch it back. Just feel that stretch and bring it in. And then uncurl, tummy strong. Remember how much the legs influence the spine. So we'll do that again, rolling down, chin on chest, bend the knees. Hands on the floor, knees are bent. Lift the tummy, lift the head, stretch the leg back. That's all it has to be. Make sure that knee is over the middle of the foot. Yes, it's not gone too far forward. And bring it back and stretch the other one back. And drop the pelvis a little if you can, just a nice flat back. And bring it back and uncurl. And breathe and stretch. And let it go. Upper back, neck and shoulders. Here we go. Chin on chest. Come tall, chin on chest. Two, to the side. It's getting a bit warmer now, the spine. Side, other side, and side, ear to shoulder. Tall, and side, and tall. Bend the knees and side, front side, lift. Breathe, bend the knees, shoulders down, side, front side, lift. Plie, shoulders down. Arms out, coming through, here we go. Lift, lift, remember don't look up. Stretch, bend the knees, push back, push back. Open out, bring it up, balance on your toes, over the big toes, hold it there. Bend one foot, put it on the floor, lift. Bend the other knee, lift, ankles, calf, shin, and down. And lift and down and lift. Bend both knees, body straight, heels down, straighten up. I'll do it on the side. Bend both knees, heels off, push up. Bend both knees, heels down, straighten up. Body wrap. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Good. Okay, now you, everybody in the room has a chair. So get hold of the chair. We'll do little stretches or say we've had a big shower and we've shook off and we've massaged the back and the bottom and the shoulders and we've just massaged all the way down and we've massaged and then we rub the legs and we rub the legs. Remember, bring the leg up to you so you've got a nice little balance. And then we've got the chair, so on the bath, put the foot on, straighten the leg, flex the foot, Get your little bit of cream and rub it in. Rub it in. And you can feel the stretch as you rub it in. And you're stretching out. 
and you breathe and flex and point the foot and flex and point the foot. Working the shin, it's a jazz stretch on a chair and reach and then just turn it the other way and pull up your tummy and lift and just a little stretch to the side, just little and lift and little. Now if you can turn the hip out and also stretch over to the side, get hold of your foot, yes, that would be great. Lift and then rotate and down you go. You feel the stretch there, heavy head, heavy shoulders. And now the foot is completely rolled out, yes? And you've got your balance. Tummy. Now if your back is pulling, bend the knee. If you're five, uncurl. Tummy, 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 tummy. Turn the foot out again. Lift both and just do a nice side bend again. Think of lifting up. Don't think of collapsing the hip. Think of pulling up and stretch the toe and open it out and turn to the face. Bend the knee, a nice lunge. Now if we wanted to work the shin, the calf, we would just do a nice little push. You can feel that working and straighten and push. Notice the back doesn't move, it's all the muscles. Straighten and then if we wished, we'd just pivot and bend the knees there. And straighten up and bend and if we want a bit more, we would sit. And we've got all that lovely stretch going on. And then we come up and we come tall and we swing that leg. Just an easy swing to loosen everything up the lumbar spine. Yeah. And then we put it down. We get hold of the other leg. I'll turn the chair so you can see for sure. The foot goes on as a bent knee, body is tall. A nice little lunge to begin, looking the direction you are facing. Foot at the back should be facing the chair, not turned out. And then straighten the leg, pull up, breathe and fold. A nice easy stretch. Put your cream, rub the bottom, rub the legs, rub the muscles. Feel where you're tight, feel the stretch. And then if you can, nose to knee, but there's no force, use your tummy, uncurl and stretch. And you could do that again just by sweeping down and feeling that stretch. And then you turn it out. Now you can turn the foot completely and feel the different feel in the hip and the body. And then if you just want the hip, bring it foot in para and turn out. This one is facing front. And over we go. Side stretch. And lift out and see if you can get hold of your big toe. And come tall. And we can stretch the foot and we can go right over, but don't think of collapsing. Think of lifting out and stretching over as you go on the side, wherever it goes. Yeah, and lift, tummy strong, open, roll the foot out, pull up your tummy and just slide down and hang. So we've really used the bath, the chair, anything to stretch those legs out. And then, if, as I say, if it pulls in the back, bend the knee. If you're fine, tummy, uncurl. Use your tummy, use your tummy, use your tummy. Bring it back. Turn it round, face that chair, or turn it right the way round, and a little dip here. Using balance, using centering, and if you can take your body back and sit on that heel, you've got a really nice stretch there. Bring it up, turn it round. If you want to stretch the hat, the ankle, the calf, the shin, keep the body straight, keep the legs parallel, and just stretch through there. And that's a nice shape, isn't it? And then when that's enough, come down and just swing this leg. Now you can do it without the chair if you wish, if you feel you want to work on your balance, just nice and loose. And then we've got swing, 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 and step. Easy, swing, 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 and a little step. Going back, swing, swing, step back, together. Swing, swing, step back, together. Good, body wrap, get rid of the chair, or if you're in the bathroom, you just walk out of the bathroom, and you do a body wrap, and then you might decide to do the delicious Canadians. Lift, two, three, four, five, six. Lift, one, two, three, four, five, six. Foot come parallel, body rotates, reach, Shoulders round, foot parallel, tummy, flat back, one, shoulders back, two, long neck, three, four, five, six, drop everything, bend knees, tummy, pelvic floor, I'm curling, I'm curling, 
lifting. One, two, shoulders relax as high release. Three, four, five, six. Lift, come tall, go the opposite direction for four. One, two, three, four. Remember, don't look up, look straight ahead. One, lift out, two. This is where you're lifting out, three, four. Come tall, rotate the foot, there you see it. Rotate the upper body, pull in the tummy, reach, shoulder, round you go. Other foot comes, and flat back, one. Pull up tummy, two, shoulders back, three, four. Drop down, bend knees, arm curl. I'll do it on the side for you if you are not sure. One, elbows going back, two, three, four. Lift, let's go for two the other way, shoulders down, two. One, two, lift, one, two, foot, rotate, so do it on the side, come through, both feet parallel, flat back, one, two, drop, bend knees, chin on chest, use tummy, use pelvic floor, one, two, lift, open it out, other side, single, so we go, side, tummy, side, lift, rotate, this is fantastic first thing in the morning. Length, drop, bend knees, bring it through, high release, lift, bring it through, and hips, and hips, and hips. Now, it's really important to just check that the pelvis, that you're rattling those bones. So, and moving those wrists as well, why not? Yeah, and both ways. And both ways. Now bring yourself back to that first stretch you did. There. And bring it in. And bring it out. Super. And bring it in. And have a little wiggle as you do it. Out. We got this. And in. And now the body's definitely lovely and warm. And bring it in. The last one. And bring it out. And now a big reach and a big reach and a big and a big to push and to push and to push and bring it in and shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. How important that we don't get tight in the neck and the shoulders. Lift, turn the palm down. Lift, turn the palm down. It's worth doing these every day, especially if you're sitting at a computer. Yeah? Over the top, pendulum, flat back, tummy, swing one way. Swing the other way, pull up tummy. Sometimes I say don't lean. If you feel any pull in the back, do it standing up tall. And then lift, side, lift, stretch, soft. Shake off that heavy glove. Let's do the other side. Up, lift, take it back. Remember it goes up, palm is facing, it rotates and pushes back. This doesn't move, the chest doesn't move. All the actions in the arm, in the joint, yeah, in the muscles. And that releases all the neck and shoulder tension. Over the top, now as I say, you, if you feel you can have a flat back and rotate, and it's trunk, or you do it upright. Because just feel that there's no tension in that shoulder girdle. And swing and lift, side stretch, lift and soft. And shake off the glove. Shake off the glove. Now, one forward, one back, and a balance. One forward, one back, and a balance. So it goes lift, push back, lift, push back, lift. The whole body now is working. Lift, push back, lift, push back, lift. Both lift. Maybe as nice spine stretch. Bend the knees, open the base, pull up the front. Let it go, breathe. Body wrap. Now, just let's check the neck before we do the abs. I'm going to go onto the floor and do the abs in a minute. So just do your shoulder rotators. Check, check. Ear to the shoulder. You're looking along the floor. One hand on the shoulder, one hand above. Stretch. Take the arm behind. Take hold of the wrist. Pull it so it comes out to the side here. Lovely stretch for the neck, for the shoulders. And relax. And this is where we hold a lot of tension. We need to release all of that. Let it go. Ah. And pull up tummy and lift. Imaginary string at the back of the skull. Imaginary string dropping the tail and the lift of the front. And we go other side, ear to shoulder, looking along the floor. Hand on shoulder, 
gentle stretch. Enjoy that stretch. I would do these in the evening as well as first thing in the morning. Take hold, pull. A little release, pull. Let it go, lift. Shrug your shoulders, forwards, up, back and down. Forwards, up, back, down. Forwards, up, back, down. Rotate, look over your shoulder and down. Smooth brush the air with your cheek and back. You could do that twice, especially if you feel any tightness. Yeah, remember these don't move. So put your hands on your shoulders here. Good. Bend the knees, chin on chest, touch each collarbone, draw a lovely smile, lift the head, and now we're keeping the knees bent just a rotator and back to center. So we're checking the upper back. Good. The base doesn't move. And center, other way, round, and center, and round, and there we go. Bring it up, breathe, I love to lift, soften, and down you go. Onto the floor now, yeah? Onto the side, onto your back, you see, yes? Stretch, opposite arm, opposite leg, push the hip away. Opposite arm, opposite leg, can you see you've got to push the opposite leg to the arm that's going above the head? Push. And Push and both and stretch. Ooh, and flex and point the feet. Lift the arms up to the ceiling. Reach, reach, reach across your chest. Shoulders down. Let the arms flow to the side. Palms up. Hope you can see. <laughs> right, ankle rock. Now, anybody who has any problems with your spine, bend one knee, bend the other knee. Feet knees together. Flop the knees to one side. Turn the head the opposite direction. It's important to keep the head and the shoulders heavy on the floor. If you need a little pillow, put it behind, underneath your skull, yeah? If you find you can't keep that alignment of the S shape in the neck. Zip up the tummy, lift the weight. Feet knees together, go the other way. Turn the head the opposite direction. Keep the shoulders heavy, keep the chest soft. Put your hand on your chest and say soft. Using the tummy, bring it back to centre. Big toes into the floor, a lovely high release. Up, 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 up. There we go. From the top, peel in each vertebrae. Scoop up the middle. You've got to feel that scoop up at the middle. As you go through the middle, you want to open and lengthen the spine, making sure the skull stays and doesn't move. Yeah, you're on the back of the skull. Again, big toes into the floor, glutes hard as rock, buns of steel. And now just open them and push up, and just open them, and push up. And it's very relaxed, yes? It's, but you're feeling those muscles working, quads, glutes, hold it there, and peel each vertebrae. Shoulders, chest, relax, going through the middle, into your S shape, S shape and spine neck. Now when we work the tummy, put your hands just below the belly button. If you just lift your head, you will feel that middle go into the floor. You will feel the tummy go flat and the chin is, you know, as if you've got an orange underneath or a fist underneath your chin. You don't want the neck to do anything. You want it all in that centre. And then look at the ceiling, a little lift and peel using your tummy and the spine goes back to neutral. So we're making that C shape. Right, let's now just stretch the back out first. So bring the knee to the chest and hug, hug, hold, chest, shoulders soft. Hug, hold, chest, shoulders soft. Hug, hold. Take a breath, shoulders down on the out breath. Lift the head and shoulders off. Now that's really lengthening through the spine and stretching everything. Hello, Dickle. Oh, look, you get getting extra again, you're getting pickle. It's so naughty. Okay, straight that leg. A little spine stretch. A little spine stretch. <laughs> He's got very sharp teeth, I might add. <laughs> Hold that leg if you can, and a little stretch. Good, and flex and point, chest up, shoulders down. Thank you, Tally. Thank you. And bend the knee, put it down. Now you've held that with your muscles, and you had a bit of distraction, so good. Look at the ceiling, lift, peel it down. Bring the other knee to the chest. Hug, hold. So we're stretching before we strengthen. We really are hugging, holding, 
stretching, letting it go, stretching. So you can feel when you let it go, that S shape comes back. You can feel when you hug it, the middle goes into the floor, it becomes, it's the C shape. And if your chest and shoulders are soft, if you zip up, lock out pelvic floor, lift the nut skull up from the nose to me if you can. Please don't force. If it's too much, just go wherever you can. Then straighten it up. Now that tummy, you're using your hands to hold the weight and shoulders down, which is fine. But feel the tummy pressing into the floor. Flex and point the foot, because that's good. Give a little stretch. If you can reach, yeah, that's great. Or here, and just give it a little stretch. Put chest, shoulders down. Then bend the knee, put the foot on the floor. Now you've got your perfect C shape. Look at the ceiling, lift, and using the tummy, peel it down. Okay, now if you felt anything in your neck, of course you move the neck side to side, yeah? Make sure you're in the right position. Might too well do a nice high release again, because now we're going into the big work. And peel, going through each vertical. Scoop it up, scoop it up. So you've got to get that middle into the floor and then go S shape. Right, back to the beginning, hug the knee, straighten the leg, put the foot on top, hand underneath, hand behind the skull, both elbows out, feel you're in the middle, pelvic floor, tummy, three lifts, ceiling, wall, my crutch, and then lift, lift, or just keep looking at the ceiling, I think that's better, let's go back, feel it down, okay, don't do those three lifts. Just zip up, lock your pelvic floor, just lift and look at the ceiling. Now hold it there and keep lifting from the tummy. Hopefully your shoulder blades, you can feel they're off the floor. Perfect. Keep lifting, little lifts. Keep breathing, shoulders down, chest soft. Feel that stays flat. It does not pop out. Little lifts, little lifts, little lifts, little lifts. Say we do eight, maybe nine, ten. Straight leg, change nothing. Elbows out and one. Two, three, four, press tummy, five. Keep breathing, six, seven. Every time, press tummy, eight. With every lift, press the tummy, nine. Hold it there, peel. Use your tummy, use your tummy, use your tummy. Each vertebrae, there you go, back of the skull. S shape comes back, move the leg from side to side. Doing exactly the same thing on the other leg, with the other leg, okay? You should feel those muscles, good. If you feel, do a high release at any time, yeah? And peel, because it must not be in your neck or shoulders. The chest stays soft, otherwise you just develop your chest muscles. You don't want that. Hug the other knee to the chest. Straighten the leg, put the foot across the top. Hand underneath, you can see this side now. Hand behind the skull, both elbows out. Just one lift, zip up, lock pelvic floor, lift. Now we're there. Press, press, press. Have you got it? Press, press. Keep looking at the ceiling. Do not look at the wall. Do not look at the floor. Just look at the ceiling. Press that tummy with each lift. Four, five, six, seven. You were there. Eight. Can you feel the muscle? Nine, ten. Straighten. Put it down. Elbows out. And continue. Two, three, four, five. And you can really feel. Six. Seven. How hard, how contracted the muscle is. Nine, ten. Now when you finish, keep that muscle hard. Keep it contracted. It takes the weight down. The neck is long. Notice what happens. It goes squishy. It's not having to lift a weight. Now we could do a repeat of that, or we could uh, do something else. Let's first of all just do a release, a nice windscreen wiper, loose, loose, maybe we'll roll. So you could repeat that if you wish, or go on to do onto your side, up you come, and now it's the, all the all important roll downs, yes? Which I hope most of you know. Remember, doing any of this work fast does not help. All you start to do is put your neck and shoulders. So you want to contract, put in the tummy, round the back, see shape, and contour. Keep looking straight ahead. Use your arms if it helps, breath in and contract and we peel down and we hit the middle and we press the tummy muscles to lift the weight. So the tummy muscles are taking the weight down with control, there's no neck or shoulder work, press tummy and we lift the weight and we think grow. Now we could do a nice rope pull here and we could 
go back just a little, pulling the rope, and come up, pulling the rope, and talk, and pull the rope, and use your arms, and feel the tummy, but keep it as a flat back, yes, don't round it, so just think tummy, and notice how the back stays, but you're still pulling rope, which is a different feel. Let's do it from this round C shape. Stop in the middle, press tummy, lift. And then we could alter this a little. We could do some oblique work with this. We could go round C shape, press tummy. Now, rotate, rotate, super, center, round. You should tell me, chin on chest, no rush. Tummy lift, so there's nothing happening here. This is loose. You could even do a little mumbo. Da 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 And a rotation if you feel. And then you could use your arms just to check. And then we could go pull rope, pull rope, pull rope, pull rope, and bring it up, and bring it up, and bring it up, and bring it up, and pull rope. So the brain has got to realise there's lots of little changes. Good. And when you feel that's enough, just let the body open the knees and let the body relax there. Just flop. Yes, just feel the flop and go to the right knee. And maybe do a little massage and go to the middle. Because we've just done strength, we've got to do a bit of stretch. So you're just in that middle here. Yes, head heavy. And then uncurl and put your hands behind and just do a little if you can. Can you turn your hands forwards if you can? And a lift, just a real lift stretch. Yeah, just a lift. For the arms, the shoulders, tummy, it's like a high release, isn't it? We'll do that one again. And a lift. It's got strength there, I know, but you're also stretching. And peel it down and hug both knees to the chest, nose to each knee, and maybe a little side to side because it's the morning maybe you've got other things to do so we've had a lovely stretch lovely strength c shape open the knees stretch the back out because we've just done the ab work yeah flat back bend elbows stretch out bend elbows bring it in round back breathe and curl Tummy, 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 sitting on those heels, shrug shoulders, getting ready, tuck toes, transfer weight, shrug shoulders, shrug shoulders, up goes the tailbone, head heavy, tummy strong, full spine stretch, hang, repeat, bend knees, go down, shrug shoulders, flat back, feel, tummy, pelvic floor, stretch, wrap, feel, Hang, bend knees, open hips, swing from side to side to side. Loose, loose, push the hands through the middle. Yes. And then maybe turn the feet out, lift the head and shoulders and do a nice squat. And just swing it from side to side because you're coming up now, aren't you? You've done your work. And then bring it in again. Heavy head. And curl each vertebrae, tummy strong, pelvic floor, breath, a new day, hooray, well done, body wrap and off you go, off you go, off you go.